Call of Duty 2018. Holy crap. World War II just came out a month ago. What are you thinking, Mike? Why are you talking about Call of Duty 18? There's no leaks. There's no nothing. Well, let me go ahead and tell you exactly what I'm talking about. What is up, folks? And welcome back to the channel. Today's topic of discussion, we're talking about COD 2018, COD 2019, and COD 2020. Yeah, I'm a fortune teller. <laughs> Not really. So before we begin, man, hit that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up for more content like this, man. You got funny Call of Duty content. I'm just an idiot, so I post funny stuff. Call of Duty news like so. And vlogs, one coming soon. That's gonna be fire. And I have Miami Heat update videos for my Miami Heat fans, basketball fans as well. So this morning, I was scrolling through Google, my, my daily cup of coffee and Call of Duty, Reddit search, and Google search, and just news in general. I was just going through the motions, man. Just going through it all. And I managed to stumble across this one article. And it's, it says, Call of Duty World War II, big news leaks for anyone who prefers COD, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare. Thought I had a burp coming. So, the title is somewhat, not misleading, but it, it, it doesn't really cover everything that's spoken about in this article and in the article I'm gonna tell you guys the key points the most important parts of the article but if you want to read the entire thing in the description very top of it I'll leave the link to it you can go check it out it's this website called Daily Star the article was released I think it was overnight um, and it tells you a lot of stuff I think it's a UK based article so a lot of people from the US haven't heard about all this just yet but I'm sure you'll be hearing about it pretty soon. So, um, basically it says, Call of Duty World War II is currently one of the most popular shooters this year, but if you're not the biggest fan and preferred COD Black Ops and Modern Warfare, then we've got some good news for you. It says, Activision has been emailing players who love their first person shooters, asking them to carry out a survey for feedback. Now, personally, I haven't gotten one of these emails, but if you guys have, then fantastic. You probably know what I'm talking about here. Again, this is I think this is UK based. It says .co.uk, like after the URL. So I think UK means United Kingdom, unless I'm completely stupid. Uh, personally, again, I haven't got one of these emails, but it says in the emails, where is it, where is it, where is it? The survey asked players their views on just three Call of Duty series, the Black Ops series, Modern Warfare series, and interestingly, World War II. So I guess they're officially incorporating World War with like as a series now. So it's like the Black Ops 1 through 3, uh, Modern Warfare 1 through 3 or whatever, and then now it's World War is a series as well. There's no mention of the likes of Advanced Warfare or Ghost. No surprise, Advanced Warfare and Ghost were probably one of the least selling Call of Duties in Call of Duty history, and nobody liked the whole jetpack thing. I'm surprised Infinite Warfare isn't on that list as well. So yeah, no mentions of that, so I guess that's somewhat good news. That has left gamers convinced we can expect another Modern Warfare title, another Black Ops title, and another sequel to this year's World War II. Only thing is, there's no technical World War III. I mean, I'm not gonna get into politics, who knows what's gonna happen in the next couple of years, God forbid. But I'm not a, I'm not a freaking political guy, so I'm not gonna get into all that crap. But uh, technically, there is no such thing as a World War III. So if World War III was to come out, it would have to be something completely fictional. But by the time World War, the next game comes out, it's gonna be 2020 because of the whole rotation and whatnot. So I have no idea what's gonna happen within the next three years from now until, or two years from now until 2020. So I have no idea. It could be a fictional game or it could be a completely different war. I don't know. Let's keep reading. So here it says, in 2018, we're expecting Treyarch's next effort. So it tells you exactly what developer is making what game in what year. So 2018, we're gonna get Treyarch, which is the Black Ops series. Uh, in 2019, we're getting uh, Infinity, in holy crap, Infinity Ward, which is the Modern Warfare series. And then 2020, we're getting Sledgehammer, which is the World War II people. Um, it says, interestingly, in the survey, fans reckon they can tell where the brainstorming for a successor to World War II is headed. One of the questions asked where gamers would ideally like to see the next title in the series be set historically. So I guess it asked them where exactly do you want to see the next Call of Duty take place. The answers included World War One, World War Two European Theater, World War Two Pacific Theater, Vietnam War, and the Cold War. I don't know why they would include World War Two European and Pacific Theater. I mean, I, we are, we do have a World War II game right now, so that wouldn't really make too much sense. But Vietnam War, Cold War, and World War One would 
probably make the most sense. Um, the guy in the article says I would love to see a Call of Duty Cold War. If I'm not completely stupid, I'm pretty sure that's where Black Ops 1 was set. I'm probably going to get roasted for that if I'm wrong, but that's what I think. Uh, and then after that, he really doesn't speak much about it. Uh, just talking about how Xbox One X 4K, whatever, just a bunch of crap. You can see it in the description. So, pretty cool to see all of this, like, in one article. I mean, personally, I haven't gotten any of the email, like I said earlier. Um, I have not heard anything about these surveys or emails, nothing. I mean, if you guys have, then fantastic. You know what I'm talking about. You can report to this article and deem it credible. But me personally, I can't put the stamp of approval on it because I don't have one of those emails to actually go off of. But if that is true, and that could literally be hinting at uh, the next Call of Duty. I mean, I don't, I don't know what... I don't know what else you guys need. I mean, it's a survey asking you what do you like better? Black Ops, Modern Warfare. I mean, obviously next year is going to be the Black Ops series. So Black Ops could be next year's Call of Duty. Black Ops 4, I have no idea. Black Ops 4 just doesn't ring a bell in my head. Modern Warfare 4 sounds good, but Black Ops 4 just sounds... Yeah, it just sounds weird to me. So, yeah, that's it. COD 2018... 2019 and 2020 they wouldn't put that in there if they weren't thinking about making the next couple of call of duties following the black ops and modern warfare series i don't know if i'm making any sense here whatsoever again guys leave a like and subscribe for funny call of duty gameplays call of duty news fire vlogs and uh some miami heat updates if you like miami heat or basketball whatsoever you don't have to watch it anyway i will see you guys in the next one Y'all have a fantastic one. That's different. I always say I have a good one. Have a fantastic one. Peace, people. Yeah.